<laughs> What's going on, Kane family? How y'all doing out there? Good morning, by the way. This your boy, Dreamcatcher305, back again with another video for the week. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this time around, I'm going to give a year in, uh, uh, season in review of uh, the regular season. I understand that we do have the bowl game coming up against Wisconsin. By the way, I love the revenge that we're going to seek on Wisconsin. We got revenge on Pitt. Well, what they uh, did to us last season, and and we're gonna get revenge on Wisconsin, how they cheated us last year in the ball game, in the bowl game. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, man. Basically, season in review and how we should have been in the college football playoffs, but it didn't. It was a roller coaster season this year. There's a lot of ups and downs, quarterback controversy. Mark Gregg need to step down from play calling, which I still believe he need to. Um, but yeah, man, let's dive right into it. First off, we it, it ain't no way in hell we should be seven and five. Ain't no way. Right now we are supposed to be eleven and one. The only loss I give us, I can say we flat out lost that game ourselves, was LSU. That was the only game I I watched. This entire season that we lost. Like I said in my videos uh, before, we damn sure shouldn't have lost to Virginia. We damn sure shouldn't have lost to Boston College. Damn sure shouldn't have lost to no basketball school. And we shouldn't have lost to Virginia, uh, Georgia Tech. So that's four straight losses we had that we should have never lost. But we did. We got to move forward from it. Put all our energy and all our time and effort, film study, everything into the pinstripe bowl against Wisconsin, December 27th. Oh, it's great. Um, but I have a few stats here explaining explaining and justifying why we should have been in the college football playoffs. First off, we were second in total defense. We only gave up two, 268 yards a game. So that's great defense right then and there. And all in every aspect you could think of. We was 25th in rush defense. We was the number one team in the nation in three and outs. So that means teams are not converting third downs on us. Defense is getting off the field and doing what it's supposed to do and go chill and relax and uh, turn the ball over to our offense and let them do work. Uh, we was number one in pass defense with 140 yards uh, per game. Literally. No fly zone, nothing, nothing, nothing. All flights to Kane Island was delayed. <laughs> we was locking everything down back there. Shout out to all them DBs, man. We was 15th in scoring defense, 18.2 18 .2 points per game. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty damn good, especially when it's being 130 like, teams, 132 D1 teams in the nation, and for us to be 15th, that's pretty damn good. On the brink of being great, we was ninth in sacks with three sacks a game. We 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 had damn near the best D line in the nation. We had the best D tackle in the nation, one of the best, if not the best DN in the nation, in Joe Jackson, and the best D tackle in Gerald Willis. Uh, shout out to him, by the way, for receiving his All American honors. Uh, the first, the only defensive tackle to receive that honor this year, and he put in the work. He balled his senior year, and I wish nothing but the best for him. Uh, him going into the league next year, uh, but in every level of the defense, it was great. We was getting after the quarterback. All flights was delayed. Linebackers uh, filling the hole, filling the gap because it was 25th in rush defense. So that means the front seven. Front seven was doing their job and doing what it's supposed to do. The only thing was held what held us back was when we get the ball to our offense, we couldn't do deadly squat. We couldn't do deadly squat. Offensive statistics, we wasn't in no category. But I'm not the type of guy to always go by stats. I, I'm a, I'm an eye test man, and my eye test shown me that the amount of talent we have. We were supposed to put up 34 points a game. <laughs> if you spread the ball out with the amount of talent we had, we were supposed to score 30 to 34 points a game. With players like 
And Marlon Rich as well, he had to stop playing football. I wish him nothing but the best. Jeff Thomas, I wish he was still there, but wherever he decided to go, um, I wish him nothing but the best. But with players like Homer, DJ Dallas, Brevin Jordan, uh, Mike Harley, um, Wiggins, Cager, Langham, just, 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 just a lot of... We have a lot of talent on our roster. Have a lot of talent, and for us only, I'm 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 gonna say for us to be mediocre, a part of it has to do with coaching. Cause uh, it was times where I don't know what we was doing on the offensive side of the ball. That's why I feel we this off season we need to go spend time and go actually go get a offensive coordinator. And Mark Rick need to step down uh, as as a play caller. And just become an overseer. Agree to certain things. Agree, disagree to certain things. That's all he need to be. Because the play calling duty is, is, is not for him. And and I'm not being disrespectful in no form or fashion. But this cane, this you, is very, is, is very vital. <laughs> it's very vital, especially being a football fan and just loving the you. But defense, doing what we're supposed to do. Defense can only hold for so long. So that means turning it over to our offense. The offense got to be able to generate some points and, and do what they do. But we couldn't do that. So now that we're on this two-game winning streak and we're striding in the right direction, I believe that we're going to get revenge on Wisconsin and we're going to pay them back and come out with a W in the bowl game. Uh, hopefully this game here, we can use this game and the momentum we have from this game leading on all the way into next August, September, use that as as a spark that, okay, now let me come along with today's today's game of football, Mark Rick. Spread the ball out, put your playmakers on the field, and let us do work. Because our defense, we ain't going nowhere. The defense is going to be great next year as well. But let me not look ahead. I'm just focused on this season and what we need to do to end the season eight and five and then carry the momentum <clears throat> we have to uh, do what we've been doing the entire year play great defense get off the field on third downs turn it over to our offense and now just open the playbook this is all out you you could you got to let the playbook out mark red Put your playmakers on the field put mark pope in there dial up some packages that team never seen on film before and we're gonna and let's execute them and watch you come out the dub. This your boy Jim, catch a 305. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember, two for a dollar, make them want to holler.